Welcome to California Baptist University's online and professional studies course entitled Foundations of Christian Thought. It's CST 302 in the course catalog number. My name is John Shirey. I will be the professor during this course and our time together. And I look forward to that opportunity to help facilitate you, not only in your academic progress at California Baptist University, but with material that I believe will have an impact on your personal and Christian life as long as you're here on this earth. I'll say a little bit more about myself in just a few moments, but I wanna just quickly highlight aspects of the syllabus that I think you need to be uh, aware of. I trust that you can read it, but I also, instead of going through it word for word because you can read it, want to highlight uh, the aspects that I think are most important in regards to information that you need to both read and hear. And so as you can see there, the course description is an introduction to Christian theology with a special emphasis on identifying uh, uh, the importance and development of a Christian worldview, doctrine of scripture and biblical authority, and how we can live and do theology. And then the relationship between truth, faith, and reason, and applying that Christian worldview uh, to the life that you live. This is an online and professional studies course, and this particular course is completely online. So you will have all of the lectures and uh, all of the material that you need from my point of view, from the school's point of view, available to you online. And so I trust that that will be uh, helpful and please don't hesitate to contact me if there's any other way I can be of assistance and facilitate you during this process and we'll get to my contact information in just a few moments. But um, there's a definition there I want you to see in this online learning aspect that each course week begins on a Monday and ends on Sunday. So if you want to be technical 12 a.m. Monday morning is the beginning of a course week, and the following Sunday at 11.59 p.m. is the end of a course week, except, as you will see later on in this syllabus, on the eighth week of the course, and uh, on that final week of the course, that Friday following the eighth Monday is the end of the course. So a little shorter week, and uh, you'll see why that's important. Uh, not only in our late work, but in the uh, final project that you have to turn in. So we trust that uh, during those weeks, uh, you'll be able to keep up with, as the syllabus lays out, the assignments for each week to help you stay on track. So please note that uh, Monday through Sunday is considered a week. Uh, my contact information, my name is John Shirey, as I've already said. Uh, I am a pastor. I've been in uh, vocational ministry for almost 33 years, and I'm currently a pastor at Murrieta Valley Church in Murrieta, California. If you're not in the Southern California area, that's about a 30-minute drive south of the main CBU campus at Riverside, and uh, so that's in Murrieta. It's also the area where I live. And that's where my office is located. You'll see there my office phone. And uh, I am usually in the office Mondays through Thursdays. And so feel free to contact me there through the office phone. I've also listed my cell phone. My cell phone has a 408 area code because I spent uh, almost 15 years in the Bay Area living and pastoring in the city of Santa Clara. And so uh, that's why I have the 408 um, area code on my cell phone, but phone call or text is good in regards to my cell phone. You'll also see there my uh, Lancer mail address, jshirey at calbaptist.edu. All of our correspondence via email will go through the Lancer mail, so please um, use that if email is the appropriate way uh, for us to contact or the best way for you to get in touch with me or in any of our correspondence. Uh, so I look forward to our time together. I actually have children who have finished college. I have children who are currently in college. 
And so um, if there's any way I can help you at your station just from personal advice and experience, please know I'm open to that as well. You'll see the text and uh, that are listed for this course. And again, if you are in the Southern California area, the California Baptist University Bookstore has these in stock. Uh, Philip Riken's uh, Christian Worldview, A Student's Guide, and then Michael Horton's Pilgrim Theology, Core Doctrines for Christian Disciples. Let me encourage you that um, both of these books are excellent to have in your own personal library, but especially Michael Horton's Pilgrim Theology. It's a book that would be an excellent reference uh, for you um, in any situation, especially in regards to uh, doctrines of the Christian faith. So both of these would be beneficial to you uh, if you choose to, to keep them and use them as future reference. You can see the student outcomes there for this course as uh, described in the course description, but also in particular goals. And the idea is that you would develop a basic knowledge of how to approach Christian theology. This is an introductory course um, that you would also be able to articulate an evangelical doctrine of Scripture. So in line with the evangelical body of Christ around the world, that you would have the proper belief and perspective in regards to the Bible. And then also that you would develop a basic knowledge of the core doctrines or the core teachings of Scripture in regards to the Christian faith, and that be the basis for your worldview. And so just trust that uh, you would understand those goals going in, and as a result, that uh, that would be what we would accomplish in our time together. Um, the primary resource for you is going to be the reading the assigned reading, as you'll see in the schedule below, and the lectures. And I trust that the lectures will be a benefit to you in, in helping with your understanding and uh, challenge in regards to the reading and the material. There will also be, perhaps on occasion, some assigned media, um, but that will be made available to you through uh, Blackboard as the uh, course unfolds. You also see that there will be exams. There will be three exams that will be taken, and these are to test your comprehension of the material, primarily and for the most part from the reading and the lecture. These exams will be obje objective exams, so true, false, multiple choice, um, matching, and those will be the bulk of, or about two thirds, about 60% of your grade in regards to the whole course. There will be a critical assignment this is a creed that you will write on the Christian faith. And uh, Michael Horton's book, as mentioned there, will be uh, your best resource in writing your own personal creed. And you can see the topics that are to be included in this personal creed, the inspiration and authority of Scripture, the Holy Trinity, the fall of man, the person and work of Jesus Christ, and then justification, sanctification, and the church. And uh, I would encourage you as you go week through week that um, you would deal with a couple of these each week in a rough draft or in an outline form so that uh, as you get closer to the um, assigned date to turn in your creed that uh, you'll be able to, as a result of our lectures and your reading, just put the, the flesh on the skeleton of what you've been building throughout the course and uh, then be able to uh, turn that assignment in. I would encourage you again to stay up weekly on your assignments. And uh, you can see the description there. Your statement of belief on each topic should be one to two paragraphs long, with a paragraph being four to five full and complete sentences as uh, communicating your uh, belief and your creed on each of those. Also, you'll see there um, just a little encouragement um, in regards to what a good creed would look like. And uh, again, you'll see the, the, the weeks that we'll be covering these issues as well as how they fit into the assigned uh, reading. Um, academic integrity is vital. Um, all the work that you turn in needs to be something that you've developed for this course 
and uh, that's how evaluation will take place. In other words, um, that's what your grade is based upon, what you're turning in as your work. And so I trust that that'll be a part of that honor code as you understand it in regards to being a student at California Baptist University. Also, the um, grades and uh, the way they fit into your final grade, you'll see that there's three different exams, each being worth 200 points for a total of 600 points. And then your final assignment, the creed, is worth 400 points for a total of 1,000 points at the end of the course. And so that's where your final grade will come from. And uh, you can see there the grading scale that's used. So if you come in at 900 points out of the 1,000, that'd be 90%. That'd give you an A minus. And so uh, I trust that you can figure from that scale uh, where you'll fall. But it's all going to be related to your accumulation of points over the eight weeks, with 1,000 being uh, the total and uh, the scale falling from there. Um, as we continue to go down, you'll see the course schedule, and uh, it has it listed uh, week by week. And as we have already mentioned, uh, the course week begins on Monday and ends on Sunday. And the only exception is that of week eight. Again, I already mentioned that, but it's listed out here for you. And uh, you can see not only by week each learning activity that's listed. So in regards to week one, you're to read the entire book, Philip Ryken's Christian Worldview, and read the first four chapters of Horton's Pilgrim Theology. And during that week, be working on or begin working on uh, your own personal creed in regards to Scripture and the Trinity. Now, uh, at the end of that week, day seven or Sunday, following that first Monday, um, keep those disciplined throughout that week so that you can keep up with your work. Also, you'll see there on week two, the assigned readings and also uh, what you should be accomplishing in regards to your creed. And then on um, the beginning of week three, or at any point during week three, you can take exam one. And uh, so, again, there's only three exams and then the assignment of the creed. And so as you scroll through there, you can see how all that works. Let me again emphasize that week eight, the final week of class, uh, will begin on that Monday and will be completed on that Friday. Every other week is Monday through Sunday. Week eight is Monday through Friday. Why is that so important? Well, I'm gonna scroll down to the late assignment definition. And you can see there the exams and creed that are submitted after the due dates listed. So after what would be the final date of each given week, so anything after Sunday of any given week would be considered late. And um, as a result, your grade will be uh, reduced by 10%. The reason I emphasize week eight only going through Friday is because there is no work. No work will be accepted after the end of the course date. You can read through the rest of the um, syllabus in regards to uh, the honor code, academic integrity, professionalism, uh, netiquette as it's listed there um, in regards to all of this work being online. And so again, we just encourage you that uh, if you need to, don't hesitate to contact me personally with any questions or any issues or any concerns, and we'll do our best to work together to get you through this course. God bless you.